I bet you've seen this teapot before. How about The Simpsons? Maybe Mrs. Nesbitt will remind you. Maybe that screensaver on your Windows computer from back in the day. But why do you see a German teapot? It's because a teapot like this happened to belong to Martin Newell, a pioneer in computer graphics in 1975 in the University of Utah. He was looking for something that could be modeled without having to have a texture on it, something that had complex curves and even could reflect itself like it does in this handle here. And as the story goes, while he was talking with his wife, they happened to be having tea, and that's what he was using. He then sketched the teapot on some graph paper and got the measurements he needed so he could input into his computer. You gotta remember, this is what computers looked like in the 70s. Nowadays, Utah teapot's kind of like the hello world of computer graphics. One of the first things you draw to make sure everything's working as you expected. And it also ends up as an easter egg in a lot of other places, like I mentioned earlier. So cheers to knowing a little bit more about computer history.